India has issued a notum restricting airspace over the Bay of Bengal from October 15 to 17, 2025, signaling a possible DRDO missile test. The launch zone, stretching 1,480 kilometers from Abdul Kalam Island, suggests a long or intermediate range weapon trial. Analysts believe it could be the long range anti ship missile, a hypersonic system aimed at boosting India's maritime strike power. The extended notice period points to a major developmental test, reinforcing India's growing deterrence and strategic capabilities in the Indo Pacific region. India has revived its long delayed plan to acquire around 200 reconnaissance and surveillance helicopters to replace outdated Cheetah and Chetak fleets. The new RFI, issued in August 2025, seeks both single and twin engine helicopters for high altitude missions and border surveillance. House Indigenous Light Utility Helicopter is the leading contender after the Russia backed KA 226 T deal collapsed. The move strengthens India's Atmanur Barbaric goals and ensures modern, locally built aerial reconnaissance capability. Bengaluru based Prime Toolings will test its advanced rotating detonation engine on India's Barak missile series by February 2026. Designed for 400 to 600 km range and Mach 2 speed, the engine offers 25% better fuel efficiency and compact design, boosting India's missile performance. This innovation could upgrade the Barak 8's range from 100 km to 600 km, marking a major step toward self-reliant, high-speed air defense under India's Atmanur Barbaric mission. India's stealth fighter project, the AMCA, will adopt proven carbon brakes and aero-muscle tires from the Tejas MK2 to speed up development and cut costs. MRF Limited is developing advanced AI-ready tires and upgraded carbon discs for the heavier AMCA, ensuring better durability, stealth, and fuel efficiency. This plug-and-play approach could reduce landing gear costs by 25-30%, to 30%, strengthen India's aerospace supply chain, and accelerate the fighter's rollout by leveraging indigenous technology. The Indian Air Force is strengthening air defenses along the Gujarat, Maharashtra coast, amid concerns that Pakistan may attempt sea-based incursions after failing to breach Indian airspace in May 2025. New Akash and MRSEM batteries backed by AWACS and drones will create a 300 km no-fly zone over the Arabian Sea. The move follows threats to target Jamnagar refinery and forms part of India's rupees 50,000 crore modernization plan, including DRDO's Project Kusha for long-range missiles. The U.S. Department of Defense has added Pakistan to a $251 million contract for ATM-120 Amram missiles, likely the C-8 variant, marking a major upgrade for the Pakistan Air Force's F-16 fleet. Produced by Raytheon, these beyond-visual-range missiles offer improved range and jamming resistance. While delivery is due by 2030, analysts say Washington prefers the C-8 over the more advanced D-3 to avoid upsetting regional balance with India, whose Rafales already field superior Meteor missiles. DRDO is developing photonic-based transmitter and receiver systems for the Atulya Air Defense Fire Control Radar to enhance India's layered air defense. Using lasers and optical fibers, this upgrade will boost signal speed, stealth detection, and resistance to jamming. The Atulya radar, built by BL, already tracks up to 80 targets and engages 50 simultaneously over 300 to 400 kilometers. The photonic integration, following India's first prototype radar in June, is expected by the early 2030s. DRDO's indigenous air independent propulsion system for India's Scorpion submarines is set for completion by December 2025, 
boosting underwater endurance to 15 to 21 days without surfacing. The fuel cell-based system, generating 200 to 300 kilowatt power through hydrogen-oxygen reactions, will first be tested on INS Kandari by mid-2026 after successful land trials in 2024. While INS Calvary may skip the initial upgrade, other submarines under Project 75 will receive the AIP by 2028, enhancing stealth and operational reach. India's fifth-generation stealth fighter, the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft AMCA, is on track for rollout by 2026-27 and a maiden flight by 2028. The rupees 15,000 crore project aims for induction by 2034 with 126 to 200 jets planned for the IAF. While India rejects foreign collaboration, it will brief close allies like Vietnam and the Philippines on progress. Featuring stealth, supercruise and 70% indigenization, the AMCA positions itself as a cost-effective F-35 alternative, reflecting India's Atmanirbhar Bharat push and rising aerospace self-reliance. The Indian Air Force is pushing to begin sixth-generation fighter development alongside the AMCA program, aiming to avoid delays and stay ahead of rivals. While the AMCA, a fifth-gen stealth jet, targets its first flight by 2028 and induction by the mid-2030s, the IF wants early work on AI-driven, optionally manned aircraft. Backed by new Safran DRDO engine projects and strong leadership support, this strategy could let India field a sixth-gen, AMCA FX or successor jet, by 2040, blending advanced stealth, autonomy, and long-range strike capabilities. That's all for today, hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe, for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.